Susanna Arroyo, but I go by Susie. I'm from Eastern Oregon, a small town. It's called Pendleton. It didn't really affect me too much when I was little. Um, I just kind of knew I uh, was slower at things and I would fall often. And when uh, the kids at school did, when Susie fell, it was you needed to, to go help her because, you know, um, Susie's muscles weren't as strong as the other kids. So it was just kind of like that. I just kind of had to be a little bit careful, but it didn't really impact me until um, I was about 20 years old and I fell down. I heard a loud, like, snap in my back and I knew something's not right and I felt like a cold sensation run up and down my spine and the first thing I thought was I'm paralyzed I'm like great I have muscle disease and now I'm paralyzed so you go from one day being um, really active um, you know being able to take a shower by yourself dress yourself um, walk you know to being in a chair and being told you can't move so after that um, is basically when my heart condition got worse. I couldn't breathe. It was hard, hard to like even talk. Hard to eat. It was depressing. It was really sad. It was really, it was very hard. There was a lot of, just, you know, didn't want to do anything. Just kind of like giving up. I guess you could say. I ended up at Cincinnati Children's after um, I went to uh, have a heart cath procedure done. In January, um, the results were not so good. Um, my heart wasn't working. I did my research and found Cincinnati Children's actually through Facebook. And I was playing on my phone and I was just yelling at my mom to come. I was like, Mom, Mom, come look at this. And, and I kept yelling and so she ran and thought something you know, was, was wrong with me and I told her and she, she read it and we were just there crying and hugging each other because you know it wasn't the, the end, there was there is, there is hope for me. Um, it had a link to uh, Jason's story. Jason has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the same illness I have. So it was just something that, you know, I need to do because they did it on him, they can do it on me. So at uh, Cincinnati Children's, um, we pride ourselves in being able to support, really our motto is that we can support any child of any size with the best device for their particular heart failure, which is quite unique. Well, I remember um, Amy, she uh, told me I was gonna meet Jason, and I was like, oh, I didn't think that would happen, so I was excited, and I was just counting down the days, and the hours, and the minutes, and there he was, and I was just very excited to see him, because he was, thanks to him, I was here, and thanks to him, I was gonna be okay. We're now starting to explore new uh, patient populations who before uh, had little to no hope and now we're discovering ways in which we can help those children and I think uh, the number of children that we will now really children and families who we now can give hope to will continue to increase. I had a, um, an LVAD, it's a left ventricular assist device, it helps the left side of the heart um, do its job. This is the LVAD and I'm on, um, has two, two batteries and um, each battery uh, lasts about four to six hours. Since having this, I, you know, I have a lot of energy, my color is back, I have color on the beds of my on my nail beds. Yeah. Susie will go home to Oregon to be followed in their Oregon Health Sciences VAD clinic um, and then come back to see us once or twice a year. Yeah, I have to see the experts here, you know, because they're the ones that, you know, implanted me with the device, so it's good for them to keep an eye on me just to kind of see how things are going. You need a team of doctors and nurses and um, healthcare providers that can take care of Duchenne's and take care of a ventricular assist device, and that's not mutually exclusive of each other. They come together, right? Yeah, they have to come together. And so a multidisciplinary team that can take care of Duchenne's and take care of ventricular assist devices is very important. Yeah, it is. I'm always a, a person that fights for, for things and, and not being able to get the LVAD before and getting it, you know, that's one, you know, mountain I climbed up. Just, I feel like Susie again. So just, thank you.